Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Frank with Ransom Reviews. Today we're doing a run through and review of Zeppelin Attacks. It's awesome, uh, but we'll get to what I think about it later. Zeppelin Attacks is by Evil Hat Productions, and they actually do the Spirit of the Century game, as well as they are the, the evil masterminds behind the Fate universe and the role-playing system, and this is a uh, deck builder that they brought out to Kickstarter and is successfully funded, and we are now going to review it and give you our thoughts. And uh, to tell you more about that, here is my co-host, Eric. Thank you, Frank, for introducing me. Uh, my name is Eric Prince of the Second, and uh, they call me Rants here because all I do is I rant about how much I hate certain games, certain games, rule books. Um, now, looking at this game and uh, Evil High Productions, I've been a huge fan of them. Frankly, I'm not a huge fan. Frankly, I'm not a huge fan of um, RPGs and the Fate systems. I'm not really into those games, but I do love the immersive world of Spirit of the Century and how they flushed it out with their books. And one of my other favorite games of theirs uh, that I've reviewed before is uh, Race to Adventure, which masterly takes this world and it turns it into just like a race to basically just run around the globe. And this game, however, takes the villains and it spotlights them and it brings them to the forefront. And you're basically fighting other villains to be the one that you know destroys the planet or does your mission or achieves your goal. So that's one of the things I really love about this game is it flushes out more of the characters and allows you to take a different side in the world and um, I just I can't wait to get into it so we're gonna we're gonna jump right into this uh, and uh, we'll let you know what we think thank you so I'll start my turn first so on your turn you can place down uh, for instance zeppelins down in front of you and these ships allow you to place certain cards for uh, some zeppelins have defensive abilities and some zeppelins have operative abilities and then of course you have your main ship play this card down and for each ship you have you can play a card down upon them. Um, so I'm gonna play a resourceful number two. Operative, and it takes two, so I match the requirement. Now you may draw three fake cards from the deck and at the lowest to your hand. So what you do in the gameplay is, the text matters on these cards um, because if you get the card, you actually have to perform the actions on it. And unfortunately, five, five, four, I take this one, so I don't actually get the effects on those cards because I didn't use them. So this card now will get added to my hand. Because those cards tend to actually be the heroes attacking you in some way most exactly, of the time. Exactly, exactly. So on my turn, um, I can play down fake cards to purchase things. I got a four, a three, and a four. So I'm gonna purchase one of the cool things in the game. Everybody has their experimental ship, and it costs 10 points. So I'm gonna pay by this card, and it gets placed in my discard pile. And these cards, because they're spent, now immediately get returned to the discard pile. So you don't have to keep currency into your hand unless you do things to get it. Like usually the operative cards give you that. Mm -hmm. Then when your turn is over, you can choose how many cards you want to hold in your hand or discard down to. And then you draw your hand back up. And then you take all the action cards you've played, because you can only play one per zeppelin you have in the field. Discard them. Yeah, to put those into Dominion terms, your Zeppelins equal your buys, basically. Basically. Well, basically. Your, 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 your actions. Your actions, yes. Your actions. actions, right. Uh, and so now my turn is over, and now it's Frank's turn. Okay, so I'm going to play the Medulla and the one I can't pronounce. Amagala. Smarty. And, and uh, so now you have two Zeppelins, so unlike me... Well, I have three total, actually. Well, yeah, so unlike me, you could play three cards where I could have only played two. Correct. Okay. So now I'm going to use... My, how was it pronounced again? Amagala. Amagala, right. And I'm gonna actually do a lightning attack. Okay. And so, I'm gonna target your main zeppelin. My, uh, my main zeppelin. Now, yes. what you need to know is that when you attack in the game, you have types of attacks. So for instance, this type of attack is a lightning attack as indicated by the lightning bolt there. Um, you also have how much the ship can take and how much they can basically put out. So this is one attack. And the ship is one attack, so that's all that those numbers mean. Right. Um, so, for instance, it's how much firepower it can it can take before it overloads itself. Exactly. So, if that was a two card, you would be able to successfully do the attack, but you would lose the uh, ship in the process. Right, because it has to go back for repairs. Well, as long as it matches the type. So, this is a defense card for frost and electricity. 
So now we deal with the effects of the cards. Certain cards have like a shield and an attack icon, and those represent what the cards can basically do. You only get that value if you are either successfully attacking or successfully defending. Right, whereas the little circle dot here means you can... You, you automatically get, get it. Regardless of, regardless of outcome, I get to draw one card. So for instance, over here, this one states that the attacker must discard one explosive card from his hand. Do you have any explosive cards from your hand? I do not. Then you have, you have nothing to do there. And now we both get to draw one card. Because, because we both have this circle that says you may draw one card. And then, so this stays here until the end of his turn. And so now Frank can basically play another action card because he's got more ships. Right, which I will do. I'm going to okay. play uh, Hailstone Cannon, which is a frost attack from my main zeppelin, my flagship. Okay, which ship are you attacking? Uh, I'm gonna go after the, uh, the orangutan this time. Okay. Which is the one over here. So the orangutan now has, I have no frost defenses. So what's gonna happen is that he has successfully attacked and destroyed my ship. So the first thing you do is you would resolve the attack benefit, which, which, is, you, benefit, which, which is you may draw one card and discard one card. I'm gonna draw one card, I like it. So I'm gonna discard a different card. Okay. And then he gets the automatic defensive ability, which is... You may look through one mercenary deck, put a card of your choice on top, and reshuffle the rest of the cards. Any one of these decks... Yes, these five decks on the table represent the mercenaries. You have the operative mercenaries, the defense mercenaries, and the attack mercenaries, as well as the attack zeppelins and the operation... And so you get to look through one of these decks of your choice and put the top card on top of it. So I'm going to look through the, ec or the attack one here. I'm going to find a card that I want on top. Now. I have a couple different options here. I can make it so that it's a card that hopefully Eric can't afford next time, or if I want to make it a card that I eventually want to get to. So I'm going to actually just go with the Cryo Susp uh, Suspenser. Now the reason a lot of these words are not very easy to pronounce on, on when you first see them is because they are made up words. Well, not all of them, but no, some of them. Some of them are. Uh, like the for Cryo meaning freeze and Suspenser meaning it suspends Frost, so it's, they're they yeah. play on Latin words. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. But they're not exactly common words because this does take place in a very immersive, imaginary The world. spirit of the century universe. Exactly. And so um, <clears throat> now, as basically successfully committing an attack, he gets to take one of the operation cards, or one of the, sorry, the, the mercenary cards at the top of one of these decks, and place it face down underneath his flagship as a victory point for successfully defeating a Zeppelin. Right. So Which I'm going to choose the Manic Mechanic for that. Okay. So again, it's face down, and it's ran right underneath the Zeppelin. So it, goes under, it goes underneath the flagship. So you have flagship Zeppelin. Yep. <laughs> so now I have a victory point there. Frank, do you have any other action cards you want to play? I do. I'm going to play this operative, uh, which is I may draw two fate cards and add the lowest one to my discard pile. So one fate card, two fate <laughs> cards, and this one automatically gets put into my discard pile, which is unprofitable rate. Unprofitable rage. Exactly. So that immediately goes in your discard pile. You don't have to use it this turn, but you have it for once it shuffles back in. Correct. And, and so I only have one card I don't really want left, so I'm going to discard it. Yes, and then you get to draw up your five cards. Correct. So it's your choice to discard your cards, unlike a lot of other deck builders. Correct. Other deck builders, you're stuck with the cards that you have in your hands. Um, so hypothetically speaking, let's just say the game is over. Right. The way you deal with winning is with victory points. So first things first is you look at your hand. And any point, a number on the top right side count as victory points. Those will only be cards that you purchase. Right. So for instance, I have six points from that. Then you don't have any cards that would be underneath your flagship for winning flagships. Frank would have one for I that. have one, and you have zero for that. And the, so the, you add those points, and those are your basic score. Now there's additional points that are given for having the most fake cards or things like that. Um, but for the most part... That is how you win the game. The game ends immediately, though, once you've eliminated three of these operative piles. Once three of these are gone, the game ends, and you immediately count the points. And that's basically the game. That's Zeppelin Attacks. Zeppelin Attack. Okay, so my final thoughts on Zeppelin Attack is this game is really, really fun. Uh, I personally put it in the... We have three categories here at Rants and Reviews. The first category is, does it belong in my collection? The second category is, does it belong in your collection? And when we talk about a your collection game, we'll say, if you are the kind of player who enjoys this kind of game, it belongs in your collection. The other option we have is, belongs in no collection. Uh, we'll, we'll use that one if we think the game is not targeted towards the people we talk to on YouTube. So, 
my thoughts on Zeppelin Attack, it's a really fun little deck building game that uh, I got way more than, than, than my money's worth out of. I actually did back this game on Kickstarter before, before we reviewed it. And I'm very, very satisfied with my purchase. This game definitely belongs in my collection. It's going to stay in my collection. Uh, I'm a huge fan of deck building games. And I also like deck building games that do something a little different. Like, I enjoy Dominion, but I really love Core Worlds and Star Realms. And Zeppelin Attack definitely fits into my wheelhouse of games that I really, really enjoy. I've actually got this to the table about ten times since I picked it up and a lot of games in my collection make it to the table three or four times before they go back on the shelf for the next month or two. But this one keeps coming back out. I like the fact that it's simple to play. I like the fact that it's it's easy setup, it's quick, it's fast, and it's fun. So Zeppelin Attack belongs in my collection. And I think it does in yours too. Right, even let me just jump in there real quick. I actually have a different view of what our rating system is. Clearly we we agree on my collection. This is a game that I would want. Uh, however when I say your collection, I mean, this is a game that I don't really want in my collection. Will I play this game? Yes. If you own this game and I came over to your house, I would play that game. Uh, and then no collection means, even if it was in your collection, I wouldn't want to play it. This just does not belong in a collection. But however, this game, however, should I say enough net however, uh, this game um, is great, it is fun, it is engaging, and it really allows the players to enjoy not only their choices, but war and building their hand. And I like a game where you can take um, cards you purchase and that actually helps you. So you might want to get a higher point card and save your money so that way you can get the better, better things down the line. So I really like this game. I really like Evil Hat Productions and uh, I hope they make more. And if you got a chance, go check out Zeppelin Conquest. This is a uh, another quicker, smaller game that they made based around Zeppelin attacking, but it's only available for print and play and then limited release through drive through cards. I'll get you that link and I'll put it underneath the video. Uh, thanks again, and you guys, uh, you know, play any game, some games, many games, I don't know, just play a game. Thank you, bye.